Heartland's heroes. Another simple choice. The latter was clearly the better solution. But you chose otherwise. I have never subscribed to the belief that the right choice is the one with the fewest sacrifices. Let's go. There's still a way for the Sacred Flame to last a little longer. You mean... Yes. Come with me. The Sacred Flame must never go out. Not only does it strike fear in the Abyss, but it's also the pillar of Natland's stability. So until our heroes are ready, I will sacrifice my power to keep it burning. But that can only last so long. I think we should focus on the remaining ancient name bearers. Don't let desperation cloud your judgment. Those chosen by the Wyab have already embarked on their destined path. It is for them to decide how that journey ends, not us. All we can do is support them. Even so, for you to make this sacrifice, it's not right. <laughs> if not me, then who? No other is capable of sustaining the sacred flame. I possess great strength, but I'm not above my people. This is part of my duty. Archon! It's the Fatui! The Archon of Natlan. A force to be reckoned with. The secret of the Ley Lines is no secret to me. Long have they been destined for ruin. And since the oath made five centuries ago remains unfulfilled, what use is the Gnosis in your hands? I don't know what you mean. But it sounds like this is about more than the Tsaritsa. In times of crisis, someone must pick up the mantle of salvation. Your plan has reached an impasse, and now it falls to me to create new rules for Natlan. But before the dawn of a new age, the old must be destroyed. <laughs> I assume that's the end of your speech? Good. People like us? Let our blades do the talking! <laughs> <laughs>
Masters of the Night Wind. Send word. The captain and his followers must be apprehended. Are you all right, Archon? He was a formidable opponent. Exactly what I would expect from the first of the Fatui Harbingers. I never imagined someone could match you in combat. If the Tsaritsa sent him here, why would he bring up what happened five centuries ago? Yeah. And how much does he know about Natlan? The Harbingers are all driven by their own personal goals. The only purpose that unites them is collecting the Gnosis. But I'm sure the Captain has his own reasons for being here as well. Whatever his motive, we should shift our focus to the Fatui. If they attack again, and we're not prepared, we're done for. No. We're running out of time. The wound I inflicted should hold him back and weaken him for the time being. Besides, I'm sure you noticed. The power that came to his rescue just now came from the Masters of the Nightwind. In other words, there are traitors among us.